Okay, so today we're going to be making bat truffle cakes. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need um, a pack of soft cheese. Um, I had some Oreos left. Um, so this is about a pack of Oreos all crushed up. So um, just using them. Uh, some edible eyes. Um, this is a pack of Oreos. These are going to be our wings for the bats. So you basically like turn them like that and then you just take off the cream that's inside i know it's not all off but it's something um i'm cheating a bit today i'm using uh ready-made buttercream so we can stick the eyes on because i want this to be a quick kind of video so that you can do it quickly if you're doing it for halloween okay and we need three tablespoons of icing sugar um and well obviously the cake so um the brownie these are the brownie um that i made for the um video for the brownie video this is half of the mix this is half of the brownie so cake so if you um so if you split it that's what we're going to get so basically you would get a whole lot because there's some in the fridge at the moment and there's some here okay makes sense Okay, so we're going to plug this in. I'm going to make sure it's off because this morning when I was practicing it, um, I ended up whizzing it kind of everywhere. So, pop this in. Pop your ice and sugar in. And we want to grab... Oh, like that. And grab this. So, soft cheese. Cream cheese whatever you want to call it, what it is. Drain off the excess water because you don't want that. I feel like my witch's hat is not properly today. Okay, so spoon in your cream cheese. Like this. I'll put that over there for the moment. And that. Doing it earlier. Okay, so make sure it's plugged on. And we go. So give it a good whiz. So you basically want it all to combine together. Any bits that haven't quite mushed together, just bring it back. If you want to do this by hand, you can do it by hand by crumbling up all the um, cake and everything, but it does take a long time, so things are a lot easier. Okay, so turn it off. This is the bit I always find a little bit difficult. So I've switched it off and I've unplugged it, so it is a little bit more safer and obviously the um, blades out of it as well. So please be careful when you're doing things like that with blades. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make some balls. You can make these as big or as small as you like. Um, I don't like them too big because otherwise they look a bit... I think I might have made that one a bit too big, but never mind. Okay, so... Because you want them as little bites, really, not too big. But I suppose they look like bats, but... There you go. Gary's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm going a little bit into Liana mode. Okay. So, I'll do all that. I'm going to do one more so you can see it. And then we're going to come back and then... Um, and then I'll show you what we've done after that. Okay, so that's our one more for the moment. And then we're going to stop. And then I'm going to come back and I'll show you what we're doing next. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've finished rolling. So there we go. So that's what they look like at the moment. So what you do is you break... <laughs> you break your um, Oreos... 
and you just put them like that. Oreos, Oreos. Gary's calling them fat bats because they look fat. Well, the other ones don't look as fat, but <laughs> these ones do look a bit on the on chunky side, I must admit. <laughs> Oh, he makes me laugh. Okay, this is why I get a whole pack so that obviously if they break, it's not a problem. Now these aren't going to firm up like really, really hard. Um, they just firm up just a little bit. You've got to get them at the exact right point. There you go. I try and make sure that the... Um, cream side is on the other side so you can't really see it they said that it's meant to all come off but it doesn't so obviously whoever made them on the thing is a jedi master at breaking oreos in half Excited. there you go that's These are for us to eat later. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So that's them done. If they've gone a little bit squished, just push them together and be all right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the fridge and then I'm going to take our ones that were that I done earlier out. Okay, so you can leave them in the fridge for as long as you like. Um, when you take them out of the fridge, do remember they've got um, cream cheese in them. So be careful on what you're doing and how you're leaving them out. I personally only leave them for about half an hour, 45 minutes out of the fridge. Um, after that, I'll be a bit worried about eating them. Um, we do have to say as well on Cooking with Yanni, I forgot with the first one. Please watch if you've got any allergies. Um, because it can be quite dangerous all right so just a little warning okay so here's our buttercream just gonna warm it up a little bit Gonna do it. Been a real pain um, lately. Okay, so a little bit of buttercream. It wants to stay. No. I think it likes the Oreo. <laughs> Gabby's laughing at my bats. Why are you laughing, cameraman Gabby, at my bats? Sometimes a little bit of patience is what you need for these sort of things. Do you know what? I am going to pipe a little bit in there and then I can dip them in.
Okay, so I'm going to carry on doing these and then we'll come back and I'll show you the end result. See you in a bit. Right, okay, and there you go. There are your bats, your truffle bats. Well, thank you very much for watching my coquettes. I hope you're enjoying the Halloween specials. We're going to stop for the weekend and then we're going to come back on Monday with two more. Um, Monday and Tuesday and then we're finished for this year. Sad. But we will be back. See you later. Bye.